Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Tengoku. I'm your host, Lindsay. And I'm David. And today we have, straight from Land of the Lustrous or Hoseki no Kuni, Phosphophilite, or as I'm going to refer to her for the rest of the show, Phos. Oh, now, Fos. I have to say one thing uh, before I offend anyone, and that is that I'm going to refer to Phos as a her, just for. <laughs> because it's easier that way than calling her they or something else. Because as you know, if you've seen this anime, uh, the stones don't really have genders. Um, she, she, I'm going to use, does, does have a more feminine appearance. So I'm just going to go with she, but um, yeah, the, the characters in the show are stones. This is, you know, false, 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 false light. Um, It's, and what else, who else is there? You've got to There's give me so some many. background into this. Okay, so let's let's go back a little bit. So between when I was a kid, you were a kid, and now, there's been a huge change in how anime has been made, right? Mm. We've gone from the cell animation straight to computer animation, computer, yeah. but there's also been that awkward, really awkward period where they started shoving CG crap into oh, everything. Oh God, yeah. Usually it was like- Digimon and the, yeah. trend, the evolving scenes well, and stuff like that. even more so than that was like spaceships. They'd shoot to space yeah. and it'd just be this really awkward looking thing. And then they just started using it more and more. They and did that in the West as well. I don't yeah. know if you've seen um, South Park and stuff like that, but there was a, a trend, like a, a time period where they hadn't got it down and it didn't look like cartoons. It really? It looked like 3D and it was awful, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, like just a lot of awkward CG. They tried. They tried their best with those 3D models. Yeah. And, and recently it's gotten a lot better. They've gotten much closer to looking like 2D animation. Yeah. But then you have really awkward things like the Dragon Prince, uh, mm. that Netflix yeah, show, yeah, yeah. where they tried too hard to mimic 2D. But this show does it beautifully. And one of the reasons that it works is because the characters... Uh, the designs are supposed to mimic stone, especially their hair. It reflects light in the same way that a stone would. And it's really beautiful. Um, there always is some stiffness uh, when you're using the computer uh, 3D animation, but they do it really well. Mm. So like, it's beautiful. It does. It, it's beautiful. Um, and, and in times where they think, Oh, it is a little too stiff. They actually switch they make it. to 2D so animation. Good. And it's very subtle. And if you're not looking for it, you won't notice it. But it's in things like, especially hand, hand motions, yeah. because those 3D blocks just don't work very well with, with doing Probably complex doesn't look very life -like motions. Well. Yeah, it's not very lifelike. But just the battle scenes, the way they frame shots, it, it's really nice. Um, it's a very well-directed anime. Um, so brief bit about it because I really love the show. So I'm going to just <laughs> keep talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> is this is set in a post-apocalyptic earth. I guess it's earth. Yeah. But, um, Stone. thousands yeah. of years in the future, humanity is no more. Mm. Um, it's like there are only three beings that exist in this world. You have the stones, the souls and flesh. And the flesh are, are become like the, these sea creatures. Like that. Yes, yes, you can see one of them right there. <laughs> um, and and the, the spirits are these like cloud-like things that come down from the heavens and try to steal these stones and actually use them as jewels. So they, they, they attack them like with arrows or other weapons and they break them up and you can see uh, her arm is broken up into the pieces and they collect them and like use oh, wow. them. Um, it's it's a really unique anime as, because that. I've never seen a story like this before. Like, yeah, you don't really, really know crazy. where it's headed or what the end game is. I haven't read the manga. The question I don't... is, did they did they round it up, um, off good? Was it a good ending? Did it? It's not finished. It's not finished. So okay. that, the the manga may be finished. I don't know, but the anime is not. Oh, you don't. So want... I'm. I'm hoping that they make a season two just because now I'm used to the anime style. So rather than read the manga, I'd rather yeah. just keep watching the show. Yeah. Um, but it's very well done. I highly recommend it. Very unique story. Um, lots of interesting characters. 
The stones uh, all have a different level of, of what do you call hardness, just yeah, right, like yeah, real yeah. stones do. And phosphophyllite is very soft. Which um, is why she's breaking. <laughs> well, they all they all break oh, at really? least once in the show, except maybe. I, I looked up a, a character chart for this so I could get everyone's name down. And it's funny because it's it's grouped by the hardness scale oh, yeah. that I was just mentioning. So the hardest one and the most powerful stone in the show is Bort. Bort, Bort which, and then, then the second one is, is Diamond. Um, but anyways, I don't know if Bort ever breaks. She mm. might be the only one that doesn't. Because she's hard. Because, Tough. but the diamond does break. I think most of the stones I see in the show have broken at one point or another. <laughs> but anyways, maybe Cinnabar hasn't broken. Cinnabar is like a poisonous stone and none of the others can go near her. And the, the spirits don't want her either. So mm. Poor. <laughs> she's, <Poor it. laughs> she's a loner. Sorry, I keep saying she. But anyways, so... Um, Really interesting show, interesting concept. Very different than Steven Universe. Don't get confused. They're nothing alike at all, even though they both use the stone names. But anyway, so let's take a closer look yeah. at Foss. Jump right into it. So here she is straight from Good Smile Company, Phosphophyllite from Land of the Lustrous. And I'm just taking a quick look at the box because they glorious. Yes. Um, Good Smile doesn't do so much of these all plastic boxes like Alter does, but I think because of the show, because of the, the gem, the stones, they kind of wanted to do a similar effect, and you can kind of see that on the box. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it just also looks nice as a backdrop for the character. Yeah, you almost don't need to take it out, box really. <laughs> right? <laughs> but we are going to. Yeah. It's As plastic, always, though. nice to see that they've put the metal um, type of frame inside yeah. to keep it. Uh, recently, I've noticed a lot of manufacturers are using metal in place of plastic pegs uh, for figures because, I mean, when you're putting these on, there's just too big of a risk of the plastic breaking. Yeah. First, we got the base. Ooh, Pretty freaking powerful. cool. It's got cool. this really cool translucent plastic over a colored background to give the effect of water. So um, cool. There's little shards. And there's of her yeah, there's hand. little shards from Fuss's arm. I I didn't actually notice this when when we were looking at it at first, that it's got. Um, God, it's so. It's fragile not got two looking. arms. She, she, yeah. The one downside to using these um, metal sticks is that yeah, it's so hard, hard, to, get hard to wiggle in sometimes. You got to get it in just the right angle or it will not budge. The little slug guy here, he's he went in pretty easily. He's just all plastic. But um, so let's take a closer look at this. This is now, amazing. In addition to the hair, just having this crazy, cool, iridescent look. Um, because it's made of like both a shiny plastic and a translucent yeah. plastic. Look at that, so cool. Um, her it, legs are also kind of yeah, transparent. Yeah, you can see through them. You can, it's, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it's like, it's so thin and the material makes it look like it's semi-translucent as Maybe well. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually not translucent, it's just got that effect. It could just be because it's thin. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> um, but that's part of the um, like great design, right? Right. It's part of why it looks so nice because it really mimics the style of the show. Um, but yeah, let's take another look at that. So just look at that shine. Like, I wonder how long they spent looking for just the right plastic and coloring uh, to get that kind yeah, I'm of... I'm sure they did. They say something about the head in this. Oh yeah, I mean, it says don't manhandle it. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't it, don't touch it. You'll probably leave English. your fingerprints. The paintwork delicate, yeah. That's right. We can just show you guys. It's in English. <laughs> but of course, so, yeah, you um, Japanese people out there, obviously, are watching this <laughs> in Japanese. Anyways, 
So it's not just a clear plastic. It's also got, as they mentioned, some paint on it. Yeah. So just be careful when you're handling it. Um, but yeah, they must have had to do a lot of experimental work with this to get it just the right way. And look, you can see you she's can see also got color. her fingernails are painted just like in the show. And she's holding some of the shards of her arm. Does it she's hurt just, when they break? Can they regenerate? Um, or is that it? They, they have to piece themselves back together. Okay. So if... If the, but you're not the, doomed. The months. people... Well, see, what happens in the show is um, these uh, spirit-like people from the moon, they call them the Lunarians in some translations, they, they shoot them apart with arrows or their other weapons, and then they collect the shards. But these gems, these characters, um, they can't regenerate. So if they they lose a shard, they got to go find the shard oh, okay. again. So she doesn't want um, to. She wants to be careful that she doesn't lose her shards. <laughs> well, Fos is very delicate, as I mentioned before. So even without the Lunarians to interfere, she sometimes breaks apart. No. Oh. <laughs> like it, it's just it's pretty funny. Like somebody will will make a what am I trying to say? A shock wave or something, and she just snaps. It's very appropriate that Fos comes to us half broken up. Now, as you probably saw, if you're into the show, um, Good Smile also re is releasing a figure of Ant Antarcticite. <laughs> What's... Has, has the model been debuted yet? It's on the website, oh, but yeah. it's, it's not released yet. Let me make sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. Antarcticite. Antarcticite. So... Antarcticite comes even more broken up than Fos here. Oh, really? So it's pretty cool. And it's Good more smile. like a bust shot. Um, so it's much bigger scale than Fos. Yeah, it's just, this is pretty damn small. So Fos is 1 8 scale, but I'm pretty sure that um, Antarcticite is, is a scale or two larger than her. <laughs> um, but, anyways, um, in addition to Fos, we've also got the slug character that appears, and I'm not going to tell you what its name is or talk much about it because it would be a spoiler, and I'd like you guys to see the show for yourself. Yeah, I'm going to watch this. I, like um, I accidentally spoiled David, but that's okay. <laughs> I think he should watch it anyways. <laughs> but really? anyways, um, I'm just admiring the figure now. So what happens then is if the Lunarians take too much of the gems, then it's like they're dead, right? Because they can't form themselves back together again. Yeah. But they'll use parts of the gems in their weapons. So sometimes when they fire their weapons at them, they can recover parts of their fallen comrades. Oh, and then over and years, re like... Repiece them back together. I feel, I feel like Fos was maybe a few hundred years old, but she's still considered young among the other gems. Oh, okay. Um, but I know that one gym in particular that had um, gotten broken up has been slowly pieced back together over like hundreds of years, years yeah. or, and she's still not complete yet. Like, it, it's just a really cool story. I can't think of any other anime like it out there, so I really recommend it. And I also recommend Fos because she looks amazing, she really and does. it's so like delicate and nicely balanced. Um, and Top the colors like are so cool. Jewelry, you know. I don't yeah, know, something... and which is a good comparison, yeah. <laughs> considering the the Lunarians probably also use them as jewelry. Oh, really? <laughs> but yeah, I think that probably wraps it up, though. Yeah. Not much to say, but a lot to look at. Yes. It's time.
So that was Phosphophyllite from Good Smile Company. Amazing job as usual. And we also have another treat from Good Smile to talk about, don't we? Oh, yeah. We've got so, Mike and Boo and Sally. Yes. So today we're giving away, we're announcing the winner of Nendroid, uh, Mike and Sully with, yeah. that comes with the little Nendroid Petite book. Both DX versions. You get yes. two doors. <laughs> you get two doors, one clean and one broken. Yeah. So anyways, let's look at the winner. Would you like to do yeah. it this time? Okay. So the winner is Kazuma. And she, he says, I love Mike Wazowski. I carved him into a pumpkin for Halloween this year. That is pretty cool. cool and we really want to see that. Yeah. So if you could send us a photo, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. awesome. Um, but yeah, congratulations. So you are getting both Nendroids, yeah, both doors. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Two big boxes coming your way. So... Um, yeah, we so also have this, right? We're going to give this away. So if you want to win it, please comment down below on hobbylink.tv. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously register, just write anything, and then we'll pick one at random, and you may win this. Right, and I'm going to remind everyone that make sure your name is orange on the Hobbylink TV channel, yeah, because always. that's the only way we can contact you if make it's sure, black. Make sure you've subscribed and yes. you hit the bell and everything. So uh, Yes. That'd be great. Like, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification button. Cool. And right. where can they find us? So you can also check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and also Pinterest, I guess, now. And I feel like there are more. But anyways, of course, links to all of those are on hlj.com. And just Buy from us. Buy, from Buy us. everything from us. Cool. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Support us. See you Bye. next time.